Hello everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you using some goodies from the Fluttering By release with Simus' stamp. So I'm gonna start with this fun tap dance stencil and I'm adhering it over a panel of sea glass cardstock. I'm gonna start ink blending with Malibu ink, which is a light color. So it's a bit of tone on tone, if you will. And then on the bottom, using some Audrey Blue, which is a little bit darker. And I thought it was kind of fun to ink blend on a sea glass panel rather than what I usually do as a white. Since I'm using the picture book otters, I thought, you know, I'm going for kind of a watery feel. Just go with it. So there's the panel. Now what I'm doing is taking one of the nested circle dies, also by Simon's the Stamp, and I'm gonna die cut three window openings using that same circle die and I've done this type of layout several times hopefully I haven't overdone it but it's just a great option when you have smaller images because inside these little windows are going to go little otters I'm going to be using the picture book otter and a layout like this is great when you have smaller images sometimes you just don't know what to do with smaller images like for example this otter what are you going to do slap him right in the middle of a card base he could get lost and you don't want the otter to get lost. And you certainly don't want the otter to be lonely either. So that's why I'm doing three. And then I make the little circle window openings and they're gonna kind of pop out of there. And I've done this a lot. I've done it with uh, several of the picture book dies make the circle window openings. It just gives them little frames. It gives them smaller areas that seems to proportionally fit better. And then you know the old rule of thirds. Can't go wrong with the rule of thirds. So what I'm doing here is die cutting with solid color cardstock all the little pieces of the otter. So black for the nose and the eyes and on and on. Now, here's how I do my picture book dies. I take what's left over from the die cut and I trace it with a pencil onto some scrap cardstock. The cardstock you use for this doesn't matter. And then I loosely just cut it out. Doesn't have to be perfect just need a base to adhere all your picture book parts to because I like to pop up my picture book. You can, you don't have to do all this step if you're just gonna adhere it flat to a card. You just die cut the pieces and adhere them to a card. But if you wanna pop it up like mama likes to pop it, then you gotta adhere all the pieces to a base. So, and I have found the best way to adhere all the pieces to the base is using tape runner. So you cover that base with tape runner and then you just slap all the pieces on. And they just pop in there, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, that quick pick tool, she's a game changer. You know what I wanna get? I see everybody using one of those jewel pickers. I think I need one of those. And then I'm gonna add some rosy cheeks to the otter later on because, I mean, you gotta have rosy cheeks. Every animal needs to have rosy cheeks. It's just the law. And then I popped up my ink blended panel onto an Audrey Blue card base tucking in the otters. I put a little foam tape on the back of them as well. Sometimes I gotta trim off a little extra on the bottom of the otter to make it fit, to tuck in just right. You don't want it to hang out too far, but you don't want to tuck in too much. Gotta find that sweet spot for the otter. And then you just ram that puppy in there and adhere it down. Look at these otters. Now for sentiment, I went ahead and embossed off camera three of the sweet little messages from this stamp set. It's called messages for every day. Thought it'd be kind of fun to give each otter its own sentiment. And so I embossed those in white on strips of black and then to finish it off, I gotta bling it out with a few coordinating sequins. And then finally, the rosy cheeks. Now I know I've said before, there's no card making police. But if there were, I feel like you would maybe get arrested if you did not add a rosy cheek to anything that has a cheek. It's kind of like breaking the law. I mean, you're not really, but you kind of are. It's an unwritten rule. So I always like to take a colorless blender and fade out the cheek so it's softened. It's like a softened rosy cheek. So here we are. It says, hey, what you doing? I adore you. Let's get together. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.